One of the least discussed secrets of closing a sale is that in today's day and age, our prospects have more choices and more information than they ever had in all of human history. That means they also have greater expectations and demands. So amateurs still sell. Experts in today's day and age solve. So stop selling and start solving because unless we are focused on not so much closing a sale, but opening a dialogue where we can get insight into what that individual truly wants, we have no context. And the interesting thing is where there's no context, there's no relevance. And when there's no relevance, there's no value. And when there's no value, well, clearly there's no sale. You know, everybody talks about, what do I do when somebody says that the price is too high or they don't have the money? And I think what you'll find is that people aren't nearly as sensitive to high price as they are to low value. And our goal is to remain incredibly invested in the individual, but not attached. And here's what I mean. We want to be compassionately, empathetically invested on what they truly want and giving them all the tools and resources to get that. But we don't want to be attached to the outcome. And that doesn't make us seem clever or effective. That makes us desperate. Our job is not to sell something. Our job is simply to empathetically move someone to a decision that's in line with what he or she most wants. Now, MOVE is an acronym. The M stands for most. What do they most want? What do they most value? People usually act in perfect alignment with what they want and what they value most. The O stands for objective evidence. What shows up in their life once they have what they want most? What is it that they'll be able to do? Who will they even be able to be? And in a lot of cases, when somebody comes into your environment, they're trying to do something they've never done before. Doing something you have never done before requires becoming someone you have never been before. That creates a lot greater context than forcing our prospects into a price comparison they don't even want to engage in, in the first place. Because if you bring it up, obviously, I want everything I can get for as low a price as I can get it. So don't open that door if you don't really want to walk through it. And the other end of objective evidence is what are they losing in their life as a result of not having what they truly want right now? What experiences, what opportunities, what emotional states are they being robbed of as a result of their current situation? What pain and loss is that causing them to suffer? And V, what are the variables? Who and what is affected when they get what they truly want? What type of parent will they be? What type of spouse will they be? What type of employer or employee will they be when they're becoming or when they're living in the full expression of the best version of themselves? And of course, the E stands for what are the environmental and intrinsic constraints? In other words, why do they not have what they truly want already? Now, you can see from that acronym, when you're focusing on moving someone to a decision versus closing the sale, the conversation is centered upon what is absolutely most important to them. When you're thinking about nothing else except closing the sale, the conversation is motivated by what's most important to you your needs, your concerns, not theirs. Now, take a guess, which is more compelling in the decision-making process? So the key here, and what I want you to be left with, is the mantra in your head, be present until I disappear. In that way, whether it's great coaching, great acting, great selling, the more present you are, the more effective you'll be.